हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू टेक सेल्फी फ्रॉम वेब कैमरा इनसाइड प्योर जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो यू विल सी आई एम यूजिंग माय लैपटॉप वेब कैमरा सो आई हैव ग्रांटेड परमिशंस सो देयर इज अ बटन हियर टेक अ स्नैपशॉट सो इफ यू क्लिक दिस बटन इट विल डाउनलोड द इमेज इट विल टेक द इमेज ऑटोमेटिकली एंड इट विल डाउनलोड इट एज अटैचमेंट लेट मी शो यू द लाइव डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन इफ आई क्लिक दिस बटन so you will see this jpg file will be downloaded as a attachment if i open this you will see it has taken the snapshot it has taken the selfie and it has saved that image file and downloaded it as a attachment so this is a fun little javascript project that we will be building here we will be using navigator user media api in order to access the web camera and then we will be converting uh, the canvas into a blob object so that we can download it so lot more to learn in this video so keep watching the entire video so if you want to get all the source code of this application you can go to the video description to get all the source code and you can better follow along with the video so i have given the full link in the video description so this is my blog post step by step explaining all the code here so let's start the video and first of all you need to open your favorite text editor i am using visual studio code text editor this is a fantastic editor here for web development so let me change the title that is a selfie app in javascript so first of all guys what we need to do is that we will be having a simple button here which will be disabled when we load the page for the very first time so if i open this with live server so you will see this is we need to give a label to it as well so we can say take snapshot so disable button is the button which you can't click so i cannot click this button so until unless i have the web camera on i cannot click this so now after that we will be having a video tag here which is a empty video tag we will be dynamically be putting that web camera to it so just have this video here and after that that's it so this is for the html guys this is all the html that is required now we need to write the javascript code so we will not be using jquery or any sort of third party library this is all will be vanilla javascript so just include your script.js file and inside your root directory just make script.js and simply write the business logic code here so first of all what we need to do is that we need to get a webcam so for getting the webcam guys we need to get the video element which we can get by document.query selector and we can pass the video tag here so we are selecting this video element here that we declared inside html so inside query selector we need to give the tag name so in this case we will give video after getting the reference to the video html tag we can now use our navigator dot media devices dot and then there are two methods first is get user media basically with the help of this you can get the user's web camera in my case laptop web camera or pc web camera you can get access to the user web camera so here you can pass options here video to true and if you if you can also want the audio of the user as well you can also pass audio to true or false so in my case i only need the video reference after that guys it returns the promise here you will see it returns the promise so in order to handle that promise we can use dot then and it contains this variable called as stream now we need to attach this variable inside our video tag that we have declared here so this is a video tag we need to attach this so we have already have the reference of video here so we can say video source object so this is a property that we need to initialize the stream to that's it so now if i refresh the application you will see nothing will happen so the video is not playing but as you can see my web camera light is blinking the white light but the video is not showing for sh playing the video guys we need to return video dot play method so basically it loads and starts playback of the media source so now if i refresh it you will see it has successfully uh, got access to my web camera and now it is streaming my web camera live inside this video tag so you can see my picture here 
so now we just need to take the selfie from this web camera so we need to uh, undisable this button which is disabled right now so now guys again we will have dot then so again this dot then will be a function arrow function so inside this first of all we need to get the button reference the disable button reference we haven't give any sort of id so we will again use query selector to get because there is only one single button element available so we can declare button document dot query selector and we can pass button here that's it now in order to disable undisable the button there is a property in css we can manipulate which is disabled and we can either we can give true or false depending upon you need to disable or undisable it so now you will see if i sh show you the button has successfully been undisabled so we now we can click this button to take the selfie so you will see as i click this button nothing will happen because we haven't attached any sort of event listener so whenever i click this button we need to write the functionality what will happen so and in the next step we will do the same thing here on click for this button so for attaching the on click there is a property once again which is button on click this is a property in javascript so here we can attach this arrow function so now in order to do this guys we first of all need to make two methods which will be custom methods to first of all to take selfie or snapshot so we will declare this method which is take snapshot and uh, after that we again inside this dot then it will return a promise and uh, inside this promise we will declare we will pass this method which is download so we need to make these two methods so just out, outside this just make function first of all we will make the snapshot method implementation so we can save function snapshot sorry take snapshot so here first of all guys what we need to do is that we need to create a canvas element here dynamic canvas element so that we can take the picture and we can convert to a blob so first of all we need to take the snapshot inside the canvas so we need to declare this canvas variable in order to create dynamic elements in javascript we will use document dot create element so this is the by the name itself it creates dynamic elements in the dom so here we can pass the canvas tag here you can also pass paragraph tag h1 tag uh, any tag for your choice if you want to create a dynamic element so after that guys what we need to do is that we need to get the context so ctx so if you want to draw anything on the canvas you need to first of all get the context inside the uh, canvas so we will pass here 2d because this is a 2d dimensional so after getting the context guide it becomes very much easy so now what we want we need to put the canvas width and height so in order to settle the canvas width there is a property here canvas width here so i think yes canvas width will be equal to video dot video width so we will be equating the both both of these two and same goes for the height as well so canvas dot height so this is very important step you need to do this in order to take the snapshot so video height so in this step what we are doing is that we have taken these measurements here of this web camera video tag so we are taking the width and the height and we are just mapping it to the canvas so that is why it is this important step is going on we need to equate these two variables after doing that we can draw the video on the canvas guys so in order to draw something here we will need to make use of the context variable so context dot draw image so this is a method so here we need to pass our video reference and then the x and the y coordinate which will be 0 dot 0 comma 0 that's it now we need to convert our uh, canvas to blob this is the most important step without that step you cannot uh, download 
the image as the attachment so this is the most important step so we need to it will have as a promise guys so just see promise so as this function will, will return a promise so here we are inside this we will have response reject so either the promise can be rejected or it can be accepted so these are the two variables so now we have uh, in order to convert the canvas into a blob there is a method here inside the canvas class which is two blob so that's it so inside this two blob here uh, we need to convert our canvas to blob object so if you follow my blog post you will see this code here which is canvas to blob so here what we need to do is that so I forgot the new keyword here so return new promise so here we need to pass the response here and then inside double quotes which will be image dot jpeg you can also pass here png as well depending upon the extension of the image to be downloaded you can also pass gif as well but gif is not recommended here so gif is not an image it is animation kind of stuff so now this method is complete guys we need to now if i run the application you will see it will not download the image it will take the image in the canvas but it it will not download it as attachment so i am hitting this button but nothing happens so now we need to also make this download function which is quite easy which lets you download the image as an attachment so basically it will take the blob as a input argument and now in order to download something in the browser we will make use of the anchor tag which is quite easy again we will make this anchor tag dynamically with the help of document.create element and here instead of canvas we will pass here anchor tag which is stands for a after that we need to manipulate the href attribute so when you click the anchor tag which url it goes to so now we need to make this url which is we will using the url class and it contains this method create object url so here we need to pass the blob variable here so it will create this dynamic url which for every image that you for every snapshot that you take so this url will be downloaded as attachment so now to give a dynamic name for the image which will be downloaded which it has a download property so here you can set your image name let's suppose i set as screenshot dot jpg and now what you need to do is that you need to click this dynamically a dot click that's it so these are the four steps that you need to take here and uh, i forgot one step you need to also add this element dynamically so document dot body dot append child and then pass this anchor to element so this step is very much necessary because if you don't write this the element is not added to the dom so it will not work after that we will dynamically click it when we call this function so this step is also very much necessary so now the application is complete so if i rerun the application you will see now the button is there if i click this uh, i think some kind of error has taken place if i check the console here so it is saying document dot oh sorry this needs to be canvas not document because we need to get the con canvas context so just replace here canvas that's it and then if you click take snapshot you will see it will download it as a jpg file here so it has taken that screenshot and now you can see you can save your image inside your local file system you can take any any sort of images here you can see so this is a very fun little javascript project that you can have here you can also change the extension of the image here just replace png so now instead of jpg png files will be downloaded so you can see sorry we need to change the file name if we haven't changed it so this needs to be png So if I again click it, you will see screenshot.png. 
So in this way guys you can make this awesome little project javascript project which lets you take images from the web camera inside the browser using canvas to block map method. So if you enjoyed, enjoyed this video then please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and for this source code just go to the video description to download all the source code. I will be seeing you in the next video.